Hi, welcome back again. Uh, so just carrying on from the last session, I just want to quickly show you how we can make some really nice pretty patterns uh, using what we've learned in for loops and using functions as well. So uh, I'm not sure why that's that color. We've got a function here, I'm going to call it circle. Okay, and I've given it these commands here. So draw a circle, radius 50, come off the paper, turn left 30 degrees, go forward five steps, back down on the paper again. Okay, so a little sub program I've got going here. And then I'm going to use a for loop. Um, so I'm going to go for, and this time I'm going to go i. Okay, let's name my variable in range. And then I'm going to put the number of times. Let's just put in 20. I don't know what that's going to do, but let's see. And then I'm going to call my function. All right, and let's just see what that does. Let's run that. And yep, it's going quite slowly. So once again, uh, we could always change the speed uh, if we wanted to by saying half ed dot speed and then putting a number in there to speed it up. But there you can see some nice pretty pants. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so, and you could start playing around with changing the colors maybe as well. Um, so what I would like you to do is just experiment with that technique, creating some functions, you know, maybe having a circle, some squares, and then repeating those over and over again, um, and seeing what sort of amazing patterns you can come up with. Okay.